Today, I'm gonna to be talking about 17 remote jobs that you can do with no experience needed. And many of these are amazing jobs that you've probably never even heard about, so you didn't even know that they were an option. Now, we did over 100 pages of research in order to make this video. So we basically wrote a book, and we do that because we wanna bring you the best possible content and the best information to help you out in your life. So if you appreciate that, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping the like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be an entry level AI data rater. And this is where you basically get to be the AI's teacher and grade their homework. That's right, you basically evaluate and score the data for AI development, which ensures the technology's accuracy and effectiveness. And AI data annotators make 64 to $104,000 a year. And the craziest thing is a lot of these different AI related jobs, because of the fact that it's so new, there's no degrees available for them, and there's really no established formal training available for it, you can get into these jobs relatively yeah. easily without having any AI related job experience. So yeah, really love this one. Lots of opportunities coming with AI. That's right. Don't believe all the people that are doom and gloom saying that AI is going to destroy all of our jobs. There's definitely going to be jobs for humans, at least during our lifetimes, because with every job that gets deleted, another job pops up like AI data raters, for instance, here's some opportunities up them up on the screen. You can pause the video if you'd like. So yeah, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a TMF associate, and you might be asking me, Shane, what the heck is TMF? Well, it actually stands for a trial master file, and this is used in clinical trials. And basically, as a TMF associate, you're the master organizer behind the scenes in clinical trials, and you basically ensure that documents comply with quality standards. And TMF associates make forty-nine to seventy-six thousand dollars a year. You can pause the video if you'd like. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. So yeah, really good one, uh, relatively easy to get into as well. I'm going to give it an eight out of ten opportunity score. Next is going to be an entry level business analyst. This is basically someone who delves into business related data to improve processes and systems. And they're often hired by tech firms, consulting companies, and honestly, many different companies across various different industries. And business analysts make 84 to $129,000 a year. And speaking of analyzing businesses, I'm actually going to be breaking down my own business, this very YouTube channel in a live training this week. And I'm gonna be talking about the biggest secrets that led to my my YouTube channel success and the biggest trends that are happening right now that you can use to have success with your YouTube channel as well. This is going to be a live session where I'm revealing all the YouTube secrets and you can ask me questions as well. You can check out exactly when it is by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below and that'll tell you exactly when it is and if you're watching this in the future it'll tell you the next time that we have a live training as well and you can sign up for that and show up. So yeah super excited hope to see you there so I can drop some knowledge on you. So yeah entry-level business analyst really Really good one. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, here are some opportunities here. I'll put them up on the screen. All right. So speaking of YouTube, one of the main ways to make money on YouTube is with affiliate marketing. And as an affiliate marketer, you would work with an affiliate manager. And that's the next one on the list. And an affiliate manager basically cultivates and manages relationships with affiliates to drive online sales. And they're essential in e-commerce companies, as well as digital marketing agencies. And you can think of an affiliate manager almost like a gardener, carefully nurturing a diverse array of plants, which are really affiliates, to create a flourishing garden, which is basically the affiliate network. And if you're not aware of what affiliate marketing is, basically you promote someone's product and you get a small percentage if somebody buys it. So yeah, really good stuff. And affiliate managers actually make 61 to $107,000 a year. And the great thing about these digital marketing related jobs is because of the fact that it's such a new industry, it's relatively easy to get into as a young person and it's relatively easy to get into without any experience or a college degree. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. So this is another really good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And yeah, affiliate marketing is one of the main ways that I make money on this channel. For instance, later on in the video, I'm going to promote tech sales, which is a really good career that you can go into. And there's a phenomenal program that I've been promoting for a long time that I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have gotten great results with. And I'll put that link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And they actually have some free training and you can check that out with the link down in the description in the pinned comment below. And if you end up actually buying their paid product, I will get a percentage of that. So that's basically how it works. It's really a win-win situation for everyone involved because I get to recommend a really good product. My viewers get the good product and the company makes money. And by the way, aside from the live streams, I actually do coach a few people every month on how to actually grow and make money from their YouTube channels. And I've gotten a bunch of people results. Here are some of the, my testimonials. I'll pop them up on the screen. Josh, for instance, I helped get to $186,000 a month 
month. And in order to apply for my coaching, you can click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. I can only coach a few people per month because I'm very hands on and I don't have time to coach a bunch of people because I want to focus on the people that I'm actually coaching. But yeah, go ahead and apply with the link down in the description or the pinned comment below. Next is going to be an SAT tutor. Now, tutoring is something that I did during college and I actually made over $100 an hour doing this. And the SAT is one of the most common tests that just about all Americans take. Now, the funny thing about the SAT is SAT actually doesn't stand for anything. Seriously, you can look it up. It originally standed for the Scholastic Aptitude Test, but the idea that the SAT tested your aptitude became too controversial. But then they changed it to the Scholastic Assessment Test, and then the College Board got fed up with the whole naming fiasco, and in 1997, they just decided to call it the SAT, which is kind of funny. But yeah, you can actually make really good money tutoring people to study for the SAT. And SAT tutors make on average about fifty dollars to $87,000 a year. As usual, here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. So yeah, you can do this full-time. You can do it as a part-time thing. You can do it as a side hustle. You could even start an SAT tutoring business. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote commercial loan broker. This is somebody who assesses and approves commercial loan applications. And on top of that, they manage client relationships and they ensure loan compliance and documentation. As usual, here's some opportunities. You can pause the video if you'd like. And commercial loan officers make $133,000 to $239,000 a year. So yeah, they are absolutely making bank. And a lot of the time, getting a job comes down to networking. But with that being said, this one is harder to get than the other ones. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is much easier to get, and that's going to be a solar advisor. And this is somebody who basically guides clients in adopting solar powered energy. And solar advisors make 101 to $181,000 a year. Go ahead and pause the video and check out these opportunities. So yeah, absolutely love this one. It's essentially a sales job, even though it's called a solar advisor. You're basically like consulting people on how to adopt solar energy, and then you're selling it to them. And you guys know how I feel about sales jobs. I think everyone should do at least one sales job in their life. Absolutely love this one. Uh, phenomenal. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be another sales job, which is a customer service and sales specialist. Now, this is kind of interesting because I've seen this trend in the last 10 years where customer service jobs and sales jobs have kind of been blending together. And there are even companies out there, for instance, software companies do this all the time, where I'm pretty sure they purposely have glitches happen in their software, which cause you to call in. And then the customer service person turns out to be a salesperson, and they recommend that you upgrade to a higher level product so that glitch doesn't happen anymore. But that's not what you're doing in this position, right? Well, it really depends on the company you go with. But yeah, 70% of buying experiences are based off how the customer feels they're being treated. So giving good customer service is likely going to cause them to want to buy more of your stuff. Crazy how that works. But anyways, this is a pretty basic uh, sales position. You make about 42 to $60,000 a year. So it's a super entry level sales position. Very easy to get into. And you can go ahead and pause the video and I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. But I will tell you if you want to get into a much better sales job, and this is what I mentioned earlier on in the video where I've helped a bunch of people get into these types of jobs on this channel, I would highly recommend doing tech sales. Tech sales is incredibly hot right now. It's very easy to get into. And there is some free training, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below that'll tell you all about what tech sales is, the different types of tech sales jobs, and if it's a good fit for you and your personality. So definitely check that out. Next is going to be a financial professional associate. And this is basically somebody who assists the finance and accounting professionals in handling tasks to ensure smooth operations. And they make about eighty-three dollars to $136,000 a year. Go ahead and pause the video. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. So yeah, this is another one where it really helps to network. So that would be the best way to get this type of job. With that being said, pretty good. It's going to be a lot harder to get into than the other ones on the list. So I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Very similar to this would be a remote financial professional. And this is somebody who basically analyzes financial related data and supports decision making. And financial professionals make about eighty-seven dollars to $152,000 a year. By the way, here are some opportunities here. I'll put them up on the screen. So yeah, lots of different finance related jobs pay incredibly well. They are going to be a bit harder to get into and it really helps to network, but I'll go ahead and give this one a seven and a half out of 10 as well. Next is going to be an appointment generator. This is somebody who reaches out to potential clients and sets up meetings with the sales team of their company. And if those leads end up closing, they get a percentage on that. So typically you're going to have a base pay and then incentive on top of that. And they get paid about 46 to $78,000 a year. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on 
the screen. You can pause the video if you'd like. And this is a very easy job to get into. You don't need previous experience. You don't need a college degree. Really, really good one. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an apartment finder. This is somebody who specializes in matching renters with their ideal apartment. And they typically work closely with landlords and rental agencies. And they're often employed by real estate firms or they operate independently. And in this position, you're basically almost like a dating matchmaker between homes and the people that live in them. And in this position, you can make 101 to $114,000 a year. You can pause the video if you'd like. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. So yeah, really good one. Very interesting career as well. I remember I went on a vacation with someone who kind of specializes in something very similar to this. And the Airbnbs that we ended up staying in were incredible. So they can really find an amazing place. So yeah, love this one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an entry level programmer. So I've talked about this one a million times on the channel. Everybody knows that software developers, programmers get paid really good money. There are some ways of getting into it that are easier than others. For instance, anything AI related is going to be easier to get into now. Cloud based stuff is typically really easy to get into. And anything involving React is easy to get into as well. And in this position, you'd make about 56 to $94,000 a year. As usual, here's some opportunities. You can pause the video if you'd like. Not going to spend too much time on this. I've mentioned it a million times. You don't need a college degree. You don't need previous experience. Although if you get a computer science degree, it's not a bad idea. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a document control specialist. And this is somebody who meticulously manages and organizes a company's documents. And document control specialists make about forty-six to sixty-six thousand dollars a year. Super easy to get into. Doesn't require college degree, previous experience. You can pause the video if you'd like. I'll put some opportunities up on the screen. Love this one. Probably not something you want to do for the rest of your life, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven point five out of ten opportunity score. Next is going to be a community liaison, and this is basically a vital link between different organizations and the communities that they live in. And whether you're working for a company or a nonprofit or an organization, community involvement is going to lead to the growth of the community as well as the growth of your organization. Plus, it's basically going to get your company out there and get them recognized as a company that actually cares about the community that they live in. And community liaisons make about 71 to $126,000 a year. So this is one that's especially good for you if you're someone who's really good at networking and you know a lot of people in your community. And a lot of this can actually be done remotely. So a lot of your meetings are going to be done remote. It's also relatively easy to get into, really helps to network with this one. As usual, here's some opportunities. You can pause the video if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I did have a video that got millions of views and that's the seven remote jobs that are always hiring. And you can check that out video out by clicking right here.